Hi guys, this is Ephraim Ovanis and today we are going to teach you how to make two different kind of fondant faces. The first one is the simple fondant woman face and the second one is the simple fondant man's face. So let's get started. For this tutorial we will need Ovanis sculpting tools and brushes, 100 grams of fondant for the heads and some gel food coloring. We are getting a lot of questions about the fondant we are using in our tutorials. So I'm going to leave you the link in the description box down below for the most suitable fondant for face and body sculpting. Now we are going to start with the woman face and for the woman we will use 40 grams of fondant. Now before we get started I would like to point out there are two kinds of fondant faces that you can make. The one on the left, this is the regular cartoon character fondant face which we are making today and the one on the right is the Ovani's photo to fondant portrait character fondant figure which basically means that you can sculpt a fondant figure copied from a picture and we will talk more about this option at the end of this tutorial Ok, so take our 40 grams of skin color fondant take all the lines and creases behind and roll it in between your hands to smooth the fondant Shape it into an egg shape, it is white at the forehead and narrow at the chin. Smooth the fondant as much as you can, we need a smooth surface to work on. And shape a little bit at the jawline. Make an indentation for the eyes at the middle of the head and with the Dresden tool and your fingers create two indentations for the eyes. Gently push out the bridge of the nose and continue with the fingers and the Dresden tool to shape the nose. With the pointy sign of the Dresden tool, create two nostrils by inserting into the fondant and pulling it aside. Give it a little bit more shape with the silicone taper tool. And we can continue to the mouth. Now using the precision knife, cut a small slit for the mouth in between the chin and the nose. With the rounded knife, pull out the upper lip and tap gently with your finger to shape the lip. To shape the bottom lip, we will use the silicone taper tool make two indentations in the corners of the mouth and then just push out the lower lip. After we finish the making the mouth, you can adjust the face if needed. And for the next step, we're going to continue for the eyes. For the eyes, cut two small slits in the indentations we made earlier, open them up gently with the veining tool and insert two small pieces of white fondant into the slits.
And now we are ready for the makeup part. Now using number zero brush and the brown food coloring, I'm drawing the eyes. Make one bigger circle for the iris of an eye and afterwards a small black circle for the pupils. Paint two thin lines over the upper lid to create an eyeliner effect. By the way, don't worry if you do something wrong with the food coloring. Just take a clean wet brush and wipe the color away. Paint small eyelashes with the black food coloring and afterwards with brown food coloring draw two eyebrows. Paint the mouth with red food coloring. For the ears, take two small pieces of fondant, roll them in between your fingers into an oval shape, afterwards squish them between your fingers and with the ball tool attach them to the side of the head. Create a small indentation in the middle and like this you're creating an ear shape. We will now start with the hair and you can cut off some excess fondant from the head if needed. And we will start with the base for the hair. This way when we're going to attach the pieces of the hair, the head is not going to show through. So just spread it around the head, make a frame of hair around our head. Now for the bangs, take two small pieces of brown fondant, shape them into a teardrop shape, attach them at the forehead and with the veining tool or the pointy sign of the Dresden tool, create light and ridges and by this you're creating some hair pattern.
And to finish with the hair, we are taking a small piece of brown fondant, roll it into a ball, squish it in between your fingers, with the rounded knife create lines to create the hair pattern and attach it on the top of the head. And to finish off the hairdo, we are going to make some curls. So just take small pieces of fondant, roll them in between your hands into a long uh, rope shape and attach them behind the head. And now we are done with our first option, which is the simple fondant woman's face. And now we will talk about the second option, which is the Ovani's photo to fondant portrait character fondant figure. It basically means that you can sculpt a fondant figure copied from a picture. It is the Ovani's best-selling tutorial. And now just imagine the surprise of your loved ones when they see themselves on their celebration cake. Of course, it's not limited only for this one figure. The possibilities are endless. You can make your child, you can make your husband, you can make a celebrity. You can make your child's head on his favorite superhero body. And of course, the possibilities are endless. And this is a truly, truly amazing product. And now for the second part of this tutorial, it is the simple fondant men's face. So we are starting by taking 50 grams of skin colored fondant, pull all the creases behind and roll it in between your hands into an egg shape as our head reminds a tilted egg which is rounded at the forehead and pointy at the chin. Smooth out the fondant as much as you can, we need a smooth surface to work on. And this is the shape that we are looking for. We are starting our face sculpting with the nose, but before we are making indentations for the eye sockets. And our eyes are approximately in the middle of our head. Now with the rounded side of the Dresden tool, make two indentations in the middle. And then using your fingers and the Dresden tool, we are pulling out a nose out of a fondant. Just pinch it and pull it up. Pinch the fondant at the tip to create at the tip of the nose. And give it a bit of a shape using your Dresden tool. Now with the pointy side of the Dresden tool, make nostrils by inserting the Dresden tool into the fondant and pulling it aside. Do not insert the Dresden tool too much, it's supposed to be approximately 2-3 to three millimeters in. Next is the mouth. Cut a slit in between the nose and the chin in the middle approximately 2 to 3 millimeters deep
and using the pointy side of the Dresden tool make two holes at the corner of the mouth to create a curve. Using the rounded knife tool, press on the upper lip and pull it up. With the pointy side of the Dresden tool, create the bottom lip by pressing slightly on the fondant and indenting the bottom lip. It is almost like drawing the lip but by using a little bit of pressure. Next are the eyes. We are using the pointy sign of the Dresden tool and we are pressing in an eye shape, just pushing in the fondant. The middle of the eye is supposed to be approximately at the corner of the mouth. And the distance between the eyes are as the length of an eye. After finishing sculpting the facial features, adjust the fondant a bit as it gets disformed while we are sculpting. Now we will fill the eye with a small piece of white fondant. It will happen that you will take a too small of a piece or too big of the piece. But as you get more experienced, you will get a sense of how much you need to take. And, then, and just don't worry about it, take it out and start over again. So insert the white piece into the eye and smooth it with the Dresden tool. Note that it's not supposed to stick out or sink in into the eye. Same with the second eye, take a small piece of white fondant, roll it in between your fingers. This is actually an example of not taking enough of white fondant and as you see it sinks into the eye hole. So we are carefully taking this out and starting over again by adding a little bit more of white fondant. Next step is painting the eyes. So we are using a thin brush number zero and some food gel coloring. You can use Wilton or American color. So taking any color you need or green or blue or brown, just paint a circle in the middle of the eye. Again, because this is an easy figure, and the cartoon like we're not making a lot of details this is just for practice so just so you can get a feeling of it so just draw two circles of a certain color in the middle of an eye
After the iris we will draw the pupils, so just take black food coloring and draw two small circles in the middle of the iris. Using brown food coloring, draw a thin line, tracing the upper lid. Usually we will not paint eyelashes on male figures for two main reasons. First of all, men doesn't have a standout lashes. And second, if we will paint them, it will look like a doll rather than a realistic character. Next step is the hair and the facial hair. So we're going to make the eyebrows now, so take a small piece of brown fondant, roll it in between your fingers or on a table to a very thin line and cut out two little stripes. Attach it to the face above the eye using the rounded knife. If it doesn't stick by itself you can use a bit of water and with tapping motions attach it to the fondant and by that you are not only attaching it but creating a pattern that looks like hair. Repeat with the second eye as well. Don't press too hard, it's slightly tapping motions. Next we will make a mustache and a beard, so take a small piece of fondant just as we used for the eyebrows and using the same technique attach the fondant between the lip and the nose by tapping with the rounded knife. For the beard, take another small piece of brown fondant, attach it below the lower lip and the chin and with the tapping motions of the rounded knife attach it to the face.
color the lips using burgundy gel food coloring, just a tiny amount is enough. Before we'll proceed to the hair, we will make the ears, so take two small pieces of skin color fondant, roll them in between your fingers into a round shape, squish them between your fingers and attach them at the side of the head, approximately at eye level. Then using the Dresden tool, smooth the fondant towards the cheek on one side and pull it out on the other side. Now we are making the hair. So we are making the hair in 4 pieces, the left side, the right side, the front side and the back. Take a small piece of brown fondant, spread it between your fingers and attach it to the head above the ear. Again, if it doesn't stick by itself, you can use a bit of water to help you stick it to the head. Now using the pointy side of the Dresden tool, make lines and ridges to create a hair-like pattern. And pull a little bit of fondant in front of the ear to create sideburns. Just spread the fondant around and don't forget to make lines and ridges that will resemble a hair. Now the same with the second side. For the front hair, take a bigger piece of fondant, again spread it between your fingers, attach it to the head, and with the pointy side of the Dresden tool, create the hairline you want. I'm going here for that uh, gel-like look that the hair is standing up. Just push into the fondant and pull up to create that standing up hair look. Thank you. 
basically our simple figure is ready. We are not making the back hair immediately, we need to set it aside for at least 24 hours to harden. And afterwards we are approaching the back of the head to make the back hair and to shape the normal head shape. And as with the woman's fondant face, here as well we have an option to make a portrait fondant character copied from a picture with the Ovani's photo to fondant tutorial. So thank you for watching this tutorial. All the details about the videos and the products are in the description box down below. So if you want to watch more tutorials about fondant figures and you are like us passionate about cake fondant decorating, we invite you to hit the subscribe button and help our channel grow. This was Eve from Ovani's. See you at the next videos. Stay sweet!